Okay, so today we're going to be making a tire. And the first thing that we want to do when we're making a tire is just kind of get a base form down. It doesn't matter. I'm just using a cylinder right now. And then we're going to take a plane. And we are going to just take this plane and, and uh, kind of move it over here. And all I'm doing with this plane is creating a segmentation of the tread. <clears throat> now with this, uh, let's see here, I don't need as many segments actually, so let's um, kind of break this down even smaller and a little bit smaller as far as that goes, maybe we'll go do about six, that sounds good. And let's see here, the length is, we're going to do about one. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go in our top viewport here, and I'm going to slide this over. And with this, we're going to convert this into an editable. Actually, I think I'm going to make it even simpler. We're just going to cut it down like this. So what we're doing is we're turning this into an editable poly. And you're going to build your tread. Now, that tread can be pretty much anything you want to design. I'm not going to get too complicated in this video, um, mainly because it's just for what we're doing. This is fine. And then I'm going to just grab these and scroll down. And we are going to first inset. And I'm going to inset at 0.2. And I'm going to inset by polygon. And we're going to say OK. And then I'm going to just uh, extrude this. Really simple. And I'm going to extrude it not 10. We're going to probably do 0. 0.4, I think. And because we're, we don't have to worry about polygons, so now when we zoom up in that we should be able to see I'm just going to move this up a little bit so it's parallel I'm going to zoom into it on this this frame here so you can see kind of your base tread starting now from there what I'm going to do <coughs> excuse me is I'm going to go into uh, this before I actually do this, I want to kind of get an idea of what the rim is going to look like. So to be honest with you, I'm just going to really quickly just build a base rim. It, it doesn't have to be anything particular. It just gives me kind of a kind of an idea. So we're just going to do a line like so. Say OK. Um, just centered it. Okay, so that's kind of the size of the rim. So then we're going to go back to our original piece. And we are going to go into, let's see here, we're going to go into the edible poly. I'm going to go into edge. And I'm going to grab this edge here and zoom in over here and hold shift down. And I'm just going to bring it down here, like so, and then back in. Now I'm, I'm keeping this low poly, so let's go grab this one here and do the same thing over here. Something like that doesn't have to be anything fancy, just gives us a good idea of where things are, are going. So I'm just going to kind of grab these and even these up again. Alright, and then I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to grab this corner a little bit. I'm going to pull this corner out just a hair. 
her down a little bit just so it gives me a little bit more angle. Same thing on this side over here. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to do it there. I'm going to instead. Actually, uh, we're just going to quick slice real quick here. And this quick slice. And we can just move. And that's just to round out the, the edges a little bit more. So that's essentially what I'm going to do. All right, once that's done, I'm going to go into Tools. And I'm going to Array. And I'm going to Preview. I'm going to have 36 segments, because uh, that seems like a good segmentation for a tire. And we are going to move this in the, looks like, Y direction. And that's a little bit too big, so let's try here. I think that looks okay. It's kind of thick tread, and you guys can play with it a little bit. But um, And I'm going to do it as an instant, and I'm going to say okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the polygons. And I'm going to grab all these polygons and subtract the top ones. And... Now from here you can go in and bevel your different edges and, and do all that sort of thing. Um, I, for what I'm showing you guys, I'm just going to do it to get it done type of thing. And so we're going to put this, let's see here, we're going to put it uh, smooth on there. So I'm just going to crank this up to 180 and say auto smooth. And that gives you the nice sidewalls. And then from there, we're going to, oops, sorry, put that back on. And then from there, we're going to attach by list. And I don't see what I want, so let's, um, Try this again. So let's uh, attach. And it looks like I'm going to have to make this independent. So I'm going to attach now and do it by list. And there's all my planes before. So attach. <clears throat> and then I'm going to say. I'm going to select, I'm going to unattach here, or not unattach, but right click so I can do that. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to select all of the vertices. And I'm going to target, or I'm going to weld. And I'm going to keep it at point 0.1 because if you know, I did previously, I did it at point 0.2. So that should keep the treads fine. Otherwise, you'd have to manually go in and connect these. So just to make, make it speedier. I'm going to do that. So that's nice, one long, nice tread. Now, before I go any further, I want to actually unwrap this. And the reason I'm going to unwrap this, so I'm going to unwrap this, um, is because I actually can, with this, I can actually go in and so let's. Uh, go into our polygon mode here and let's do in scroll down here until we see the cylinder and we're going to do the cylinder in the Z uh, look. so let's see here let's rotate this here Relatively close. And actually, 
actually, that's what's my problem. So I'm going to select all. Sorry about that. I was... Okay, so let's fit this. So there's my cylinder. So when we unwrap it, when you open it up in the editor, it's going to look somewhat like this. And we're just going to rotate this so that your tread looks something like that. And then from there, um, we can, you know, relax and play with it. But now I've got it so that it, um, it creates the nice tread. So you can actually type your text out and do all that stuff um, and make a really nice uh, design for it. Put your bump maps and all that stuff, and it's all set to go. And then we're done with that. So let's go here. And we're going to add in a bend modifier. And we are going to go in the angle of 360 degrees to start with. And it's in the Y axis, but because I created this in the side here, we're just going to go angle snaps. And we're going to go to the gizmo. And we're going to rotate this 90 degrees. And you can, that's 90 degrees right there. And then let's uh, make this as big as we need it to. Now, if you notice, it just doesn't line up real, real nice. So what we're going to do is we are going to just rotate it until it lines up nice and pretty. And... Once that's done, I'm going to go off the gizmo, and then we can go in and edit poly here. And then on the edit poly, we can actually go and let's just go to edges. Actually, let's go to vertexes, and let's uh, should be able to weld these. Let's see if my weld is yep still at point one. So I'm gonna just move this over, so I can grab all these. Really, it doesn't matter as long as the weld is close, and just make sure that's good. There, it's all welded together. And we have our tire. And of course, you know, you can go in and resize, make it bigger or smaller according to, it looks like I needed to make it a little bit bigger, but I think overall, basic good tire. Um, you know, again, the tread's a little bit thick and blocky, but that can be done by adding more tread. That can be done by adding a whole bunch of different stuff. So I hope that helps. Um, the next one will be the uh, hubcap.